All right, so let's talk about the Democratic side of this. Now, I mean, most people do not want Biden to run. He, they but he's sit, got a boost by la what happened on Tuesday. I, I, but even the exit polling from that said two-thirds people, do, including most Democrats, they saw him as a temp. They saw him as a guy who did a job. You know, he's the sheriff who came to town, and he did it. He got rid of Bla Bad Bart, or <laughs> whoever the bad guy was. And now, and, and come on. I mean, look, and I'm... I'm told it's tough. In his inner circle, he's, he, he's been running for president since 19... And now he got it. He checked the... And <laughs> now it's, he checked that box off. He, he's on, it's off his bucket list. The, the he was president. <laughs> But is, is, is Roe going to challenge him in the, the primary? The, the, the is Roe going to challenge him in no, the primary? No, what a question. The, 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 no, because, look, the polls keep showing that Joe Biden wouldn't win. I knew that when I was co-chairing Bernie Sanders' campaign, we thought he was not, never going to win. And then guess what? He won. And the polls kept saying that he wasn't going to do well in the midterms. And guess what? Yeah, you're he right. did well in the midterms. This is one of the most resilient people in American politics. He has extraordinary resilience, what he's gone through. And I genuinely believe this. Look, I wasn't for him in the primary. I think he's doing this out of real patriotism. He's doing it out of real patriotism. He, he wants to bring this country together. He wants to bring jobs back. He has a sense of decency. And look, he's earned it's, the right what, to make the decision. What the congressman just says encapsulates why he's likely to run for re-election when you talk to his advisors. Because he was, you were co-chair of Bernie Sanders' campaign. And that wing of the, progress, the progressives are not angling to take on President Biden in a primary. Governor Newsom not trying to take on President Biden. So at this point, if he decides to do it, he may have a clear path. A clear path? Oh, I don't think of, uh, no. To the, to the nomination. Uh, I don't even think that. You because think someone will step up? I think when, when the polling shows this many people don't want him to run, and look, I'm, nobody rails against ageism more than I do in, uh, here on this show. I'm against it. I think it's stupid. Most other countries in the world are not like America. They venerate old people. They understand their wives. But this is America, you know? It's the gun country, it's the ageist country, it's just the country we live in, okay? And they just don't like it. And if it's Trump against Biden, the electorate will be so turned off.